Microsoft Edge. Who doesn't know about Microsoft's latest web browser? It comes pre-installed with every copy of Windows, and it is probably the best, most usable browser Microsoft has ever released. Effectively replacing Internet Explorer because, well, let's be honest, it hasn't been very great these last couple of years. Now, the stock experience of Microsoft Edge is already pretty nice. But did you know that you can enrich your experience by installing so-called extensions? With extensions, you can effectively download apps for your browser that add functionality that the browser might not have by default. All the major browsers support extensions in some way. Microsoft has its own add-on store where you can find extensions specifically designed for Edge. But since Edge is based off of the underlying Chromium framework, extensions from the Google Chrome extension store will work too. And the Chrome store actually has more extensions to choose from as it's been out for longer. So if you can't find anything that you're looking for in the Edge extension store, make sure you pay the Google Chrome extension store a visit. Alright, now that I got you excited about extensions, let me show you five really handy ones that you can either download from the Edge store or the Chrome store. Let's go! Before we start, let me show you how to install extensions in the first place. If you have never installed an extension before, you can find the extensions flyout by clicking on the triple dots menu at the top right of the screen and then by clicking extensions. Once the flyout appears, you can click the Open Microsoft Edge Add-ons website link. The Edge Add-ons marketplace now opens up and you can start searching for your favorite extensions. Once you've picked one, click the Get button on its store page, read the permissions the extension requires, and if you agree, click the Add Extension button. And there you go, it's now installed. Simple, right? In order to interact with your extensions, you can click on the now available puzzle icon to open the extensions flyout. From here, you can pin these extensions so they are more easily accessible. And if you want to interact with an extension, you can simply click them. But some extensions may have their settings available elsewhere, and some may even have more settings you can tweak. In order to get to this more hidden settings page, click on the puzzle icon in the bar at the top. Navigate to the extension you want to change the settings of and click the triple dots next to it. Then click on manage extension. If the extension you chose has a separate settings page, a link will display at the bottom called extension options. Click that and there you go. First, let me show you Anori by Oleg Walk, which transforms your new tab page into this. What you're seeing here is a widget-based new tab interface that you can customize entirely by yourself. You can add a weather widget, search bar, notes, bookmarks, a clock, and much more. And all of those widgets you're able to freely move around the page and place wherever you'd like them to be. If you go to settings, you can even create new folders so you can have different types of screens and widget sets for different occasions, like for work or for private time. And you can even choose from different themes here too in case you'd like a different background and color. And you can get all of this for free. As far as we know, there is not a single feature hidden behind a paywall. Super handy, right? Here's another great one. It's called Link to Text Fragment and it was developed by Google. What it does is it allows you to copy a bit of text as a direct link, which you can then paste anywhere you like or even send to your coworkers or friends. When they click that link, they will immediately be brought to the web page and the specific piece of text that you selected on that web page. This means you won't ever have to tell anyone to click that link and to scroll down until you see, etc. In the options for the extension, you can also change the copy style from a rich text link to just the raw URL or both at the same time. If you choose the latter option, you can also choose what the link will show up as. The next extension is probably something that you've already heard about. It's Adblock by IO. With Adblock, you can get rid of annoying internet ads. Sometimes, certain websites throw like 5 or 6 ads your way, which can get really frustrating. With Adblock, you can get rid of most of those ads just by installing the add-on so you can have a seamless and focused browsing experience. But it doesn't just block ads. It also blocks external trackers from sites that might be following you around the internet, and it helps you protect your privacy. I would say it's an almost essential add-on to have in this day and age. 
do keep in mind that most websites and content creators rely on ads to operate for free. So if you don't want your favorite website and or content creator to lose out on money, consider keeping ads on for them by whitelisting the sites, which is a feature inside of Adblock as well. Next up is Dark Reader by Alexander B, the add-on that forces web pages to be displayed in dark mode. Sometimes you find yourself working at night or in a dark area and you don't really care for being blasted with light by bright white web pages. This is where Dark Reader comes in. With Dark Reader, you can force a web page to display a makeshift dark mode that is fully customizable inside of the Dark Reader menu. You can adjust the overall brightness of the page, the contrast between colors, use sepia colors to make the page even easier on the eyes, and you can even display the pages in grayscale to make them less bubbly and colorful. And you can adjust all that on a per website basis. There might be some glitches with it though if you adjust these settings too much, so make sure you tweak things to your liking. Now, if you live in the European Union, you have most likely come across some of the cookie banners that websites will throw at you once you first visit them. This can become pretty annoying over time, to say the least. Luckily, there is an extension that can help us get rid of these cookie pop-up slash banners. It's called Consentomatic, and it's an extension maintained by the privacy researchers at the Aarhus University in Denmark. Just install the extension, set up which privacy settings you'd like to apply for yourself, and Consentomatic will do the rest. And those are a couple of hand-picked cool extensions that you can download for your Edge browser right now. Our team actually uses these extensions in their work life or their personal life, so you can say we extensively tested them. When navigating the different extension stores, do make sure you only download extensions that are from reputable developers. Always check the ratings, reviews, and how many times an add-on has been downloaded. That's the best way to make sure you don't accidentally download something that may harm your device. These extension stores might look like they're safe to download from, but Microsoft and Google are not doing a good enough job to make sure that they are 100% completely safe. So do be wary, please. Now go ahead and try these add-ons for yourself and elevate your browsing experience today. I've been Mitch from Workplace Buddy and I wish you an alpacatastic day. I definitely hope the weather is a lot better where you are because, oh my goodness, it's storming outside. <laughs>